I am Anil Kumar and in this playlist we have taken few examples of writing complex numbers in polar form. Uh, in this particular example I have taken a complex number which is in which quadrant? Let's look into it and then we will write this complex number z equals to 2 minus 2i in polar form. Polar form as you know is also known as modulus argument form, right? So let's see first see how this complex number can be placed in which coordinate it is. Now that is the vertical line which represents imaginary number. The horizontal polar axis represents the real numbers, right? So normally a complex number could be written as x plus um, y, you can say yi. So x is represented on the polar axis, i, y on the vertical axis, this is your pole. So when we want to represent this in polar form, we are talking about two things. One is the modulus, the other one is the argument. Modulus is positive value, the distance from the pole, from the center in this case. Argument is the angle of rotation, correct? So the point is, the complex number is 2 minus 2i. Two 2 is positive, that means we are looking for a number which is 2 units to the right, let's say this is 2 positive. And then we have minus 2 along the y-axis, so it is kind of downwards, right? So the number could be represented by this arrow here. I should say the complex number. Where this position is minus 2, this position is 2. So, so the r is the length of this complex number and argument is this theta angle. Is that okay? So in this particular example, the complex number lies in quadrant 4. We could also write theta as minus theta. Right? Both ways, it works out fine. So you could write this number as r cos theta plus i r sin theta. Taking r common, we could write this as cos theta plus i sin theta, right? The value of r, as you know, could be found by, I will give you the general formula, square root of x square plus y square. If we write x plus y i and theta is tan inverse of y over x right so that is how you really find r and theta once you find r and theta you could always write in complex form uh, we may also write this as r and theta that is also polar form correct okay so let's begin our exercise. We are given the complex number z equals to 2 minus 2i. That really means that the real part here is the r cos theta, right? So r cos theta is 2 and r sin theta is minus 2. So when you divide, let's say sin theta over cos theta, then we get tan theta equals to minus 2 over 2, which is minus 1. So from here we can find theta. But better way is to find the related acute angle. So we normally find tan alpha, the acute angle. So so acute angle, let's say, let's say this is alpha for us. We are working in quadrant 1. So everything is positive here, right? So tan alpha is positive 1. So alpha is equals to is equals to let me go step by step tan inverse of one, which you know is if you're working in you could work in degrees or in radians. Is that okay? So so you could write this as uh, alpha equals to if you're working in degrees then tan is one for forty five degrees. You could use calculator. In radians it is pi by four. Correct. So that is what you could do in either unit you want to work. So we know the value of angle. We can find what R is. R is equals to 
square root of 2 square plus minus 2 square and that gives you 4 plus 4 as 8 right square root of 8 and that gives you uh, 4 times 2 which is 2 square root 2 is it okay so r is 2 square root 2 for you so so this z this is 2 square root 2 we have to find still we have already found the angle but let me see how to write theta okay now when you are in quadrant 4 when you are in quadrant 4 and alpha is known to you then what is theta theta is equals to 360 minus 45 360 minus alpha you write this as 360 degrees minus alpha or you could write this as 2 pi minus alpha either way right choose your units perfect so in our case uh, theta is equals to 360 minus 45 degrees or 2 pi minus I should say pi by 4 perfect so okay so let's use the calculator so we got 360 minus 45 that gives you 315 and 2 pi by pi by 4 so total if you go pi by 4 easy way is 8 pi 2 pi right so we could write 8 pi over 8 i mean sorry 4 so one less than 8 pi so it is 7 pi by 4 is it okay so so you could write in this fashion now most of the time uh I've seen uh, you write this also as minus pi by 4 you could do that also so well too many units here anyway choose choose so let me write down the answer in one of those units so I'll prefer to write down final answer in radians so we have z as equals to r r is 2 square root 2 2 square root 2 perfect times cos of uh, I'll write pi by 4 and explain you later minus sine pi by 4 okay so I chose to use theta let me say I chose to use theta as equals to minus pi by 4 that is clockwise is it okay and now what you need to understand more here is cos of minus theta is cos theta is that okay but sine of minus theta is minus sine theta and that is why I got this minus unit okay so there are a few things which you still may need to work on may for some it may be straightforward perfect but I would like you to think why I wrote answer as 2 square root 2 cos pi by 4 minus sine pi by 4 since in multiple choice questions that could be your option well the other results were as we were very close to writing we could have written 2 square root 2 uh, cos 7 pi by 4 plus oh I forgot to write I am sorry plus I sine 7 pi by 4 right that is also the right option when we are doing in radians if you're working in degrees you can replace 7 pi by 4 with 315 degrees correct or if you choose this option pi by 4 is 45 degrees to write down your answer so let me write down here another answer z equals to 2 square root 2 this is always positive cos of 45 degrees minus i sine 45 degrees correct so three three four ways of writing it i hope you're not confused but you appreciate what i've done feel free to make suggestions right thank you and all the best